You're watching the Backpage League Vidcast. I'm Jonathan Howcroft and I'm joined by Wayne Carey to take a look forward to round 15. Wayne, the standout game of the round looks like Carlton versus Collingwood. Can you see Carlton doing anything in this fixture? Oh, look, they are, they are quite like uh, I've been saying now for a number of weeks. They are decimated by injuries, Carlton, but I think they've been competitive. This is a game that if Collingwood take Carlton lightly, they are quite capable. Well, the one thing we do know about these big rival rival games, the Collingwood's, the Essendon's, the, uh, you know, the Essendon Carlton's and the Carlton Collingwood games, is that it doesn't matter where they are on the ladder. Well, it hasn't hasn't seemed to matter where they are on the ladder over the years. Um, they they can be uh, you know they can be upsets. And uh, if Collingwood are slightly off and think Carlton, uh, you know, uh, well, obviously not winning games, I wouldn't say they're not at their best. I think they're they're being quite um, competitive, um, then Carlton will knock them off. And that's, that's I, I think it's a real danger game for Collingwood and a must win for Carlton. So uh, you're right, it's, a, it's an absolute blockbuster. It should be a beauty. In your career, did you ever experience a, a rivalry as intense as, as the Carlton Collingwood? Was there ever a, a fixture that you looked at on, on the list when it came out and just thought, oh yeah, I'm going to get myself up for this? Yeah, we well, look. We had a really good rivalry against Essendon uh, in the nineties. We also had a really good rivalry with West Coast. Um, so probably those two sides uh, more so than um, any of the others during the nineties. Or, or Geelong, we you know they were up the top of the ladder during the nineties as well. So we had a few real really good rivalries during that time. And they're the best games to play. And these are the games that the players really love. The Collingwood players and the Carlton players will absolutely love this. And uh, as I said, it, it should be. Uh, I think it'll be a lot closer than what um, you know than what you may think. Back in round three, Carlton smashed Collingwood, and a few people were talking that it was the changing of the guard. Do you think Nathan Buckley will use that as motivation this week? Oh, I'd, I, I wouldn't think so. I don't think he needs to to use that as motivation. I think the motivation for Collingwood is to uh, to make sure they finish in that top four, so to keep keep uh, that form going and. Um, I, I don't see Bucks as the type of guy that needs to use that that uh, type of motivation to get the boys up. I think this group uh, seem seem to be uh, very self motivated, so I think they'll be up for the challenge against their old foe. If Carlton don't turn up, the potential other game of the round is North Melbourne hosting West Coast in Tasmania. North are, are on a great run. West Coast. Uh, pretty much guaranteed top four you would imagine do you give the kangaroos a chance oh for sure especially in uh, tasmania I, I think this is a well it's another must win for the kangaroos the kangaroos like st kilda and the other sides uh, in that um, in that bottom half of the eight and just out of the eight they have to keep winning now you said west coast are guaranteed a top four well there's six sides right now fighting for that top four they're not guaranteed they've got a lot of home finals uh, sorry, home games to come. So you'd expect them to win the majority of those, which you know th th they are a very good chance. But they would want to win uh, this one against the Kangaroos to just you know put themselves apart from a couple and make sure that they're entrenched in that top four um, right now. Um, so, but I, I, I certainly give the Kangaroos a chance. If the Kangaroos play the way they've played the last couple of weeks, um, you know I, I really think the fact that it's in Tassie. Um, I think this is a 50-50 game. One thing I like about the Kangaroos matching up against West Coast is Petrie and Goldstein, I think, match them in the talls, which is an off often an area where West Coast stand out. Do you think that that's, do you, do you think that's an accurate assessment or, or would you oh. think that to beat West Coast you need to do it elsewhere around the ground? Oh, look, the, the West Coast are very good through the midfield. You know, you know Kerr, Prittis, these guys, are, are, and young Gaff, I think, is having a terrific year. And, you know, obviously Natanui and Cox are, are just absolutely brilliant in that set of bounce. So, you know, the, the Goldstein's going to have to have a, uh, a big game because uh, Natanui, although he only had 12 or 13 possessions um, last week, I think there was 15 hit outs to advantage and four or five of those were just straight down the throat and, and you know, straight down to Cox goal. So, you know, very, very dangerous. Um, so they, they're going to have to be at their best. You know the other. You know they've, they've obviously uh, got a very good forward line in, in Darling and and also big Lynch and when Cox is up there, they've got a big forward line. So the Kangaroos probably going to be undersized down back, but um, but they'll want to obviously run off and, and and try to set up uh, some attack from defence. And um, like I said, if they play as well as they have, they're they're, they're a chance. No way. And I want you to just prepare yourself for this next question because this is the biggest issue of the weekend. Essendon's clash, Guernsey. 
it's taken up column inches, it's dominating the airwaves. Could you care less? No, I couldn't actually. <laughs> uh, I, don't, I don't mind the strip though, but I, I, I sort of agree, I think I might have read an article today that um, doesn't hasn't really changed that much. The black's a lighter, uh, uh, the black's a dark shade of grey and it looks a little bit like it's painted on. That's, that's about the only difference between uh, their uh, original Guernsey and that one and obviously they've got all the names of Premiership players on them which you can't see but yeah I, I don't see what all the fuss is about but like, you know they're playing St Kilda and I wouldn't have thought that th that changes too much I mean it's meant to be a, a, a little bit different so we don't get confused but I wouldn't have thought that it is. So you've never run out wearing a, a Clash Guernsey and, and, you've, and you've thought that your participation was diminished as a consequence? Um, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> Um, thank you very much, Wayne. Which game are you covering this weekend? Um, I think I've got the Sunday game. I think it's uh, great. I think I've got the Greater Western Sydney game. Who do they play? Hawthorne. Greater Western Sydney and Hawthorne. So you'd expect the Hawks to win that you've one. You've got your calculator with you to rack up that score. Yeah, well, they, these are the sort of games that Buddy Franklin doesn't want to miss because he's chasing a Coleman. Yeah, that's a, actually, b before we do leave, that is a good question. If you had a, a slight twinge in your hamstring and your coach said... Buddy would like to sit this one out, or Wayne would like to sit this one out. What would you say? Buddy would have slept in the medical room <laughs> uh, the night after they said he had a sore hammy. He would have slept there, he would have iced it up. He'd know he's got Greater Western Sydney. He would have been to see Alistair Clarkson first thing Monday morning and said, listen, I'm fine, I'm ready to go, I'm not going to miss this one. There's no question about that. Terrific. Wayne Carey, thank you very much. Look forward to hearing from you next week. Thanks, Jonathan.